Hello and welcome to yet another edition of uh, Experience Sessions right here on IndigoMusic.com. I'm Rohit and joining me right now is an artist from Goa. He's a rapper and he's a singer and he's uh, recently won. First of all, congratulations on it in order as you won an MTV EMA. How yes, does it feel, Sumiyoki? First of all, it's pronounced Sumayoki. Sumayoki. And it just feels so overwhelming. You know, it's never been done in my state before. So I'm very proud to be representing Goa on such a national level, international level. You know, it's a great, great achievement. Uh, how did your uh, folks react? How did your friends react? And how did you react when you won that EMA? I just started jumping out of out of nowhere, bro. I just got the phone call. I just started jumping like crazy. I, when I told my mom, my mom started crying. You know, I went and told my friends. My friends just started wilding out. They started like going crazy, you know. Everyone was just like so overwhelmed and so like appreciative to the fact that we actually did it. Uh, big wings in the scene right now, like Divine and... Uh, so many people and I'm pretty sure, I think you're now signed to Gully Gang if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, I've been signed to Gully Gang since I was 19 years old. 19 years 20, old. 2020. Fantastic. Ah. And you've been featured on our uh, station in Goa if I'm not wrong. You had a chat with uh, Aisha uh, from yeah. the show. And uh, now let's talk about your song, Pink Blue. First of all, Connor Price, I've been following him forever. It, I've, I've heard each and every song of his. My favorite, personal favorite of Connor Price has always been false alarm. I don't know if you have heard the track, but that has been my personal favorite. And when he dropped that uh, Instagram reel, uh, you know, saying, I'm going to call a, uh, my friend, an artist from India. Uh, when I saw your, uh, when he says Yoki on his phone, I was like, oh, I'm not supposed to swear, but I'm saying, oh shit. I was like, is this Sumayoki? And then you come on and then, did you actually tell him the word which he says in the last? Yeah, so we told him, <laughs> we told him that means thank you. And that oh, was the whole concept. It was real, like, it was not staged. No, 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 we, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't do that, Connor. We, we, it was a, it was a plan, of okay. course, but like, we, we all obviously know that this is something that will help track, market the track like crazy. Right. And your song, Pink Blue, right? Uh, you've done multiple mashups. You've done it with a lot of other artists as well, like collaboration with that. Connor Price, uh, how how did you get in touch with him, and uh, what was the whole process? We were we were searching for an artist to like work on Pink Blue remix for, and yes. we were searching for a couple of artists. We always always wanted something something to do internationally, and uh, Connor Price has always been someone who is just so open to collabs and stuff. He didn't even charge us like you know a lot of artists charge like a payment or something. He didn't he didn't even charge us. He was just like so down to do it because the music was was so good. So the label just reached out to him. We reached out to a couple of people and Connor was the one one of the people who replied. And then he's just like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And that's how it happened. Yeah, I know. He also has this thing on YouTube where he says, I'll uh, stop. I'll point at the globe and where it lands. I'm going to collaborate with an artist. I think he had never done it with India, if I'm not wrong. No, you no, no. He's, done it. he's done it with India before. Uh, but this was uh, separate from that series. This was a, like, uh, this was not part of the Spin the Globe series. Now, 2023 has definitely looked really good for you. Obviously, new songs, new collaborations. I can't open my mouth on what uh, what they are. We're definitely going to focus on dropping more singles this year, less projects, more. Um, we're going to try to be more consistent with a lot of singles this year. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take a break from dropping projects for a while. I've dropped, it, dropped like two, uh, two huge projects this year. So we're going to do a lot of singles in 2024. And uh, what about live scene? Uh, when are you performing in Bangalore? I don't know. We performed in Bangalore last month or two months yeah. back, I think. Yeah. But uh, let's see now when we are performing in Bangalore next. Right now, we just have one more Goa show. And I think then we're done for the year. Right. Now, uh, before I let you go, I want to know Pink Blue. What is this song all about? And when did you come up with this uh, track? I came up with this track, obviously, originally. With yeah. the, the original version, not the remix. And uh, basically, Pink, I can see... Um, Sometimes when a melody plays and all, I can see that color, the, the melody as like a color. So when the beat of pink blue, when I was making the beat of pink blue, I saw the colors pink and blue. Of course, uh, I was just like, this is a pink and blue song. And I was like, you know what, what, what if this time I actually put that in the lyrics? So I just, the feeling, I'm feeling pink blue is literally just because I could see the melody as colors. And uh, I just, I was just like, you know, just, let's just play, say that I'm feeling pink blue. That's new. That's basically a little love song that we, me and Bhag put together. And it's just about like 
I think uh, other than that, it's just subjectivity should come into play. And whatever you feel when you listen to that song, that's the meaning of the song. You know, that's the meaning of all my songs. I don't like to give out a specific meaning because I want people to add their own meanings to it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the song sounds just brilliant. Uh, we're going to be putting it on high rotation right here in Bangalore and in Goa as well, your home turf. Uh, once again, season's greetings from all of us uh, at indigomusic.com to you and your family, your fans, and uh, including Connor, who's recently collaborated with you. Uh, Sumayaki, thank you so much for connecting and have a wonderful year ahead. You too, man. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Take care.